morning, good afternoon and good evening. A few days ago, I released a video ranking the infantry limitless hero from Nicola, Wolfie, Robert and Chukon from generation 13 to generation 16. For newer players, I also discuss my thoughts about the generation 1 Nicola and generation 2 Wolfie. So if you haven't seen the video, you can check it out in the link above or you can come back to it later by clicking the link in the description below. Since many of you enjoyed the content, so in today's video, I'm going to rank every Hunter Limitless Heroes from Lucky, Jeb, Carlos and Marcos from Generation 13 to Generation 16. For newer players, Generation 1 Lucky and Generation 2 Jeb are basically the same but still different as Generation 13 and Generation 14 have their Limitless skills unlocked. In today's part, we will discuss the Hunters and if you are hunting for a great prizes on bundles instead of survival and you just started playing this game, then have you heard of Paxify? It's this amazing cool service that lets you buy your bundles at the US dollar prizes no matter where you live. So you can skip any digital taxes and save your money. On top of that, depending on which country you're from, you can save up to 35% with Paxify. With Paxify special spicy Friday offers, if you put in $2,000 in your Paxify wallet, you will get even more savings and bonuses. So what are you waiting for? Check out Paxify using the link in the description below and start saving your yourself a bucket loads of monies. Thank you Paxify for sponsoring this video. For those new to State of Survival, I want to give you all a bit of a head start. The Hunter Hero of Generation 1, Lucky, isn't necessarily a hero that I would purchase. Don't get me wrong, she's definitely better than the purple heroes, but her skills are just simply not good enough early on in game for you to be spending so much money. However, do keep in mind, if you're a player in Generation 1 right now, Limitless Lucky is roughly 2 years away from you, so do take your time. On trap, she is useless, so I don't see why most new players would need Lucky Max immediately at the start of the game. Unfortunately, Generation 2 Jeb isn't much better, arriving roughly 7 weeks later within the game and thank god he's replaced soonish 6 weeks after. I would definitely award Jeb the worst hunter hero award in State of Survival as his skills are just not good enough for PvP, somewhat okay for trap but definitely not great. So if you were one of the newer states in State of Survival, Survival, I would definitely request you to hold out until Generation 3 Zoe comes into the game after 13 weeks. Skills wise, she's definitely one of the better hunter heroes early on in game, which isn't a huge accomplishment given the fact how OP both Lucky and Jeb are. Zoe definitely is the go-to hunter hero for trap. I remember back in the day, this is exactly what I did and I was able to max out Zoe pretty fast as I persevered for the first 13 weeks in game. Now. Around this time, you should also get resonating heroes. And if we get 300 likes in this video, then I can make a similar updated video for the resonating heroes. So what are you waiting for and slap the like button. A few moments later. Well, approximately 2 years after playing State of Survival, you will get Limitless Heroes. I think most of us by now are aware that the Limitless Heroes are pretty strong and when they are released in your state, not getting them will be a huge mistake. By now, you should have built up a huge repository of legendary fragments through the various events but I would recommend that you continue to wait and not spend them on Limitless Lucky. Whilst Limitless Lucky is a decent hero, she is definitely not the best Limitless Hunter hero in the game skills wise. So going all in for her at this stage would be a huge costly mistake. At best, Limitless Lucky in my test results is the third best hunter hero out of Jeb, Carlos and Marcos. Since the developers also made the starts of Generation 14 Jeb, Generation 15 Carlos as the same with Generation 13 Lucky, from my test results Jeb is the worst out of all of them. Generation 40 Limitless Jeb performs so badly in the battles at the same starts with no tempers, no behemoth, no aircraft or helicopter in the mart with all their skills maxed to level 999. Also, for those of you that don't know this already, Limitless Jab will also win the worst Hunter Limitless Hero Award in State of Survival, ranking him at 4th on my list. Moving on to Limitless Generation 15 Hero Carlos versus both Lucky and Jab, Carlos smashes them both pretty easily. Many of you don't know this, but Carlos' secret ability is with the 100% chance 
chance of granting immunity to disarm all allies. This leaves both Lucky and Jeb at the same start puzzled and totally useless when confronting Carlos in all types of battle conditions. Finally, Generation 16 Marcos. What do you think? Do you think he beats Carlos? You are in for a surprise. At the same starts to Carlos, he actually loses to Carlos. Yep, that's right folks, you heard me right, confirming that Generation 15 Carlos skills are superior to Marcos and even when Marcos is maxed with higher stats, Carlos actually performs pretty well. Now, for the sake of completeness, I also tested Generation 16 Marcos versus Generation 14 Jab and versus Generation 13 Lucky and Marcos at the same start against all these Hunter's Limitless Heroes did indeed perform far better. This ranking him as the second best Limitless Hunter hero on my list. Therefore, as a result of my test, my conclusion would be in twofold for those mid to low spenders out there. If you are new to State of Survival, then you should definitely hold out at the start and get Generation 13 Hunter Hero Zoe. For those close to having Limitless Lucky or already have the Limitless Heroes release, you should aim to skip both Lucky and Jab, then going all in with Generation 15 Carlos. The savings you can make by doing this is enormous and you'll be able to save up your goal legendary fragments when Carlos is released. As you can imagine, this sort of videos are extremely challenging to make, so do me a favor and smash the subscribe button and slap the like button. Thank you for watching and I'll smell you soon for another video. Goodbye!